what do you believe is the most prominent stigma that we associate with HIV AIDS today? The answer to that question would vary from one society to another. Okay. Yeah, um, and it varies also from one social class to another. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, among religious people, there was a time when the stigma was that if you have HIV AIDS, it's kind of like a curse from God, some kind of punishment because uh, you're committing sin and all mm -hmm. those kind of things, mm -hmm. okay? So that's the way the stigma is really seen, okay? Yeah. Um, but on the other hand, in other communities, it's just a question of um, like, Yesterday there was a documentary that was screened about women in Kenya, how they got into some financial difficulties mm -hmm. and the only way they could survive was to become uh, sex workers. These are educated, relatively educated women, but they were desperate. They needed something to survive and in the process of that, they got HIV AIDS. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're very educated and very informed and you encounter such a situation, you know that these are not people who got into this situation because they wanted to or because they are just irresponsible. It's just mm -hmm. the uh, sheer economic pressure that made them to do that. So in that sense, you feel sorry for them. Yeah, they have to suffer for the disease, but you're more concerned about the social causes that led them to get into this situation. Yeah. Yeah, rather than just, oh, you're just irresponsible or whatever. Mm -hmm. If somebody is looking for something to eat, um, today, uh, then that becomes something really very important. And the worst thing you may be surprised to know is that they asked the woman in the documentary how much was she paid for the sex service. She said 50 cents. When, when they did the math in mm -hmm. American dollars, 50 cents. So for 50 cents, somebody puts themselves into that line of danger. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so I would say that, yes, there's stigma, but the stigma varies from one society to another. It varies from uh, the context also varies because, as mm -hmm. I said, in religious context, people may be with one way, but in the case that I just described to you in Kenya, if you understand the situation, it's a totally different thing. While living in Nigeria, did you personally hear or see any discriminating acts against HIV? I know that from the documentaries, there, were, there are quite a lot of uh, discrimination, um, and the discrimination is just, is just uh, so much. Remember that in Africa, women suffer most from HIV AIDS, not because women are to blame or anything like that, but there are so many reasons which I don't want to get into here, unless yeah. if you're interested in there. But uh, HIV AIDS people are discriminated. If the children are going to school, uh, nobody wants to relate to them. Uh, if their parents have HIV AIDS, uh, people tease them um, and that affects the ability of the children to learn. Because when you go to school and your classmates are teasing you that your parent is going to die or something like that. Yeah. So there's that discrimination there. But on the other hand, the issue also in Africa is that people may have these diseases, but until it is shown very clearly on their body or something like that, they can just go into the general public and interact and nobody will know. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But this huge documentary, uh, the discrimination there, and the worst thing is, unlike in the United States where you may have some laws that protect individuals, in Africa, no. And even if those laws exist in books, they are not enforced. <laughs> yeah. So somebody can be treated really terribly bad or discriminated and um, like they go to the hospital and they are treated very badly because of their disease. But they, they don't have any legal recourse to say, well, you, can, you cannot treat me like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you know of any differences or similarities um, between like Nigeria or other places in Africa and the U.S. when it comes to like stigmas of those with HIV and AIDS? Yeah, there are cultural uh, variation, but I think in this case, the cultural variation probably might vary with social class more than anything else. Like people who have HIV AIDS, if they come from the upper class, probably may not be discriminated as much or they have better ways of protecting themselves. 
compared to say somebody who is really poor. If you're poor, there's already some stigma or discrimination that you encounter. But mm -hmm. when you have the disease, it worsens your situation uh, really more. Um, the other thing is in the United States, for instance, uh, if there's any variation, I would say that it's just the laws that exist in this country. It protects a lot of these people. Remember that I have some documentaries here about the history of uh, HIV AIDS when it started and when the government didn't want to provide medical attention. You must have mm -hmm. read about that. Mm -hmm. But the people organized, right? They organized mm -hmm. uh, and they made this a public policy issue. And even the, gov the gov even government officials that used to take it for granted or ignored it could not ignore it anymore. So I believe your health insurance will have to cover you now if you have HIV AIDS in this country. They cannot say uh, no something like that. So this is not the case in many other countries. Now the other thing that I think is very important and I should draw your attention to is when the US gave money to some third world countries or developing countries then it told them that if they are going to use this money for HIV AIDS they have to preach morality to the people who are going to benefit from the program and then the government of Brazil said that their medical system does not attend to people who are sick on the basis of their moral choices, mm. which is the case in the United States here. A doctor may disagree with the behavior of a patient, moral choices, but you, you cannot, as a doctor, refuse to attend to the patient because you are angry about their moral choice, right? Mm. Yeah, you have to just treat them even though you don't privately like what they did. But because we give money to people in third world countries, we're insisting that they do that to their patients. And Brazil, the Brazilian government said, no, they're not going to accept the money because... Uh, so that, there's a way discrimination takes place there mm -hmm. in the sense that sometimes what we do not allow in the United States, we're willing because we give people money overseas to insist that those mm -hmm. things have to be uh, done. Mm 